Welcome to another episode of Practice Tips. This episode is for advanced students. We will see how advanced students can use voice culture exercises to improve the quality of their singing. One may think, why is voice culture so important? Especially for advanced students, you need to execute fast brigas in Alapane. You need to execute fast sangatis in kritis. There are so many things which you need to do with control. You need to sing Ragam Tanam Pallavi with a firmness in Laya. So strength in Laya, strength in Shruti or the perfect Swarasthanas and the precision, absolute precision is very important. So these exercises will help you achieve that precision. Many students who are now in the Manodharma stages generally tend to forget about the Varnams or whatever is learned before that. Just like a student who is going to 8th standard, in the beginning of 8th standard you ask him a question from the 7th standard, blank, I don't know. After the exam is written, it's all over, done and dusted, it's kept inside. <laughs> We need to know everything we learned from kindergarten, carry it forward with us even at the advanced stages of what we do because that is going to be the pillar of our support. Even in music, whatever we learn in the basic exercises, these are going to be our practice tools. These are going to be strengthening us every day. We can use them to polish, give shine to our performance on a daily basis. I remember when I used to go for tours with the eminent violinist or Mridangis, especially violinists for now, we will, uh, my experience with them. In the morning before the concert, they'll come to my room and ask me, so what are you singing today? What is the main raga? So if I say that I'm going to sing Kirwani, after some time, after we talk, they go back to the room and then I can see that they are practicing Kiravani in all intensity, right from the Sarali Varsai, Jantai Varsai, in multiple speeds. What is the requirement? They are eminent artists, they have got everything. Why should they practice? It requires that much of practice to get fluidity in the body and the mind. What the mind wants, the body should be able to deliver. For example, there may be a Sangati which the mind really desires to execute. But if the, the body, the voice is not ready, we will fall flat. So it is very important that the body and mind work together. We will now talk about use of Varnams as a practice tool for advanced students. Generally, we sing Varnams in two Kalas, two speeds. Here we will sing the Varnams in five Kalas or five speeds. So generally in a Varnam, in the first Kala, every beat has two Swaras or two pulses or two Matras. Here we are going to have the second speed as a Tishra Gati where we are going to sing every beat in with three pulses or three Swaras. So two Swaras per beat, three Swaras per beat. The next one will be four swaras per beat and next will be the tishra male kala which will be tishra double speed or six swaras per beat and the fifth speed or fifth kala will have eight swaras per beat so five kalas in this order when we are singing tishra here it will not repeat three times because for example we will take for today's practice ninno kori varnam ninno kori in mohanaraga so, in the Pallavi, Anupallavi and Muktayaswara, the lines are easily divisible by three. In Tishra, every three, line, three lines come in one Tala. So, it's perfectly divisible, so it all comes in one repetition. It won't come in three, three repetitions as in any other piece which we saw in the Swaravali or whatever it is. In Varnams, for example, where there are different odd number of lines, for example, there are 16 lines say from Anupallavi to Muktayaswara. We require two more lines to make it divisible by three. We sing the first two lines twice. 
so that then it becomes 18 so therefore we can sing the entire thing once we don't have to repeat it three times for tishra so we will do this exercise now for ninno kori varnam first of all i will sing it as the sahitya the words itself and then we will sing it as akara and umkara i will mix it up but akara and umkara are very important singing in akara umkara ikara ukara whatever the vowel extensions actually grind the voice and especially when you sing six swaras and eight swaras per beat it is absolute precision so the voice actually gets very very well cultured okay so let's sing ninnu kori varnam nilnu ko
We all practice at least one varnam every day in the morning before we start our regular practice. In this way, in five kalas, that to akara, mukara. If you can practice more varnams, great. You, your voice will just be ready to do anything your mind says. It is just prepared to execute the most difficult phrases. So make sure that. On a daily basis, make this as a staple diet, as I say. Everyday practice, everyday practice of Varnams in five Kalas. Practice Atatala Varnams, Aditala Varnams. And I would say, at the end of, say, two or three months, you'll be ready to do anything. So, happy practicing. <laughs>